Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about the brand new Kylie lip glosses. Now I just received these probably about a few days ago and I've been testing them out ever since. And I definitely have my solid opinion on these things. I have a lot of things to say about these. And I also have some exact dupes for you guys. Some of the dupes are affordable, some of them are high end, but I found colors that are basically almost identical to the Kylie lip glosses. So you have some really nice alternative options if you don't really wanna, you know, have a heart attack while you're buying these lip glosses. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and let's get right into it. Okay, so let's first get all the basics out of the way. So you can purchase these lip glosses only at the Kylie Cosmetics website. They retail for $15 US. They have 0.09 fluid ounces of product in here. Now at first glance you think, okay, $15, not that bad for a lip gloss. It's not a drugstore price, but it's not quite as expensive as say a NARS lip gloss. But because this product only has 0.09 ounces of product in here, you really get half the amount of product that most lip glosses do have. For example, the NARS lip glosses have 0.18 fluid ounces of product and the Anastasia lip glosses have 0.16 fluid ounces of product. And that is definitely something that you may wanna consider. Now as for the packaging for these glosses, I personally really like it. I find that it has a little bit of a weight to it. It definitely does not feel cheap. And I think it's just really nicely designed. And for wondering, they do look exactly like the Kylie lip kits. Now as for the scent, they smell exactly like the Kylie lip kits and they basically smell like artificial sweet cherry vanilla. I personally am not the biggest fan of the scent. I just find it smells just a little bit artificial to me and just really, really like sickly sweet, but it's definitely not overwhelming, especially once you apply it to your lips. Now let's talk about the controversial lip gloss wand. Now, if you are not aware, there has been a little bit of controversy around this lip gloss wand. The batch of lip glosses that Kylie first released on April 1st was actually defective. So all of the brushes on the wands were basically all messed up. Like as soon as you would take the wand out of the packaging all the bristles would sort of just be splayed out all over the place and they would be a complete mess and basically unusable she did completely change them she shortened them and sort of solved the problem and all the lip glosses that you are now buying all have like the proper applicator so I will insert a picture right over here of what my lip gloss looked like the day that I got them. Literally, as soon as I took them out of the packaging, that is what they looked like. It's really sort of mind-blowing to me that nobody really caught that when they were doing quality control on the lip glosses. Now, Kylie, thankfully, is going to be sending out um, new lip glosses to everybody who got the defective ones. Just not a cool thing to do for all of like those loyal customers who bought those lip glosses on the first day they released. It just sucks. That's all that it is. Now moving on to the formula and the texture of these glosses. Now I am very picky when it comes to gloss texture. I really, really, really do not like to wear glosses that are way too sticky or that are uncomfortable. I really like a very buttery and creamy formula and that is what these lip glosses are. If I were to compare them to other lip gloss formulas, I would say that they're very similar to the NYX Extreme Shine lip creams as far as the texture goes, as well as the pigmentation, as well as the Anastasia lip glosses. I would say that the Kylie ones are just a little bit, like a tiny bit less opaque and not quite as intensely creamy as the Anastasia lip glosses, but they still have that really creamy and buttery and very opaque texture. So speaking of opacity, these are quite opaque glosses. They're not like sheer glosses or glosses that just have a little bit of color to them. Like you're going to get like an opaque finish with these glosses, but they're also not too opaque that they look gloppy, which is nice because sometimes when glosses are just too opaque, it just looks sort of strange, especially for really light colors like this one over here called So Cute, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Like it's just opaque enough that it doesn't look weird on the lips and that you can wear them by themselves, but you could also layer it on top of lipsticks if you want and still have the lipstick color shine through just a little bit. So even though they do have like a buttery and creamy texture, they don't feel extremely heavy on the lips. They still feel very, very lightweight. Now these glosses are matte, so they do not have any shimmer or sheen in them, but they are super, super glossy. Like they make your lips look really, really big because they are so glossy and they really like get a lot of light on them. I really do like the glossiness factor of these lip glosses. I think it's really, really pretty pretty. As far as any differences between the colors, like as far as the formula goes, I really find them to be pretty consistent throughout the three. I would say that the lightest one, which is the one that I'm wearing called So Cute, is maybe just like the slightest, like 
tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit streakier than the other two, which I feel like is sort of expected with lighter colors. You do tend to see streakiness just a little bit more, but it's really nothing too crazy that would make me not want to use it. So I just wanted to put that out there in case you were wondering. Because these are glosses, they don't really last like an extreme amount of time on the lips. I would say I'm able to get away with maybe two hours of wear before I would have to reapply, but I think that's pretty normal for a lip gloss, to be honest with you. Now I found that if I did not exfoliate my lips well enough with these glosses, that they would almost sort of ball up on my lips like it would almost sort of attach to just the dryness on my lips which didn't look so great obviously so I would definitely suggest really exfoliating your lips well so that they're nice and smooth and then you're good to go now as for the shade selection for the nudes she basically just released three very simple and standard nudes. There's a light one, a medium one, and then a dark-ish one. I do like the colors, but obviously they're not unique nude lip glosses that I feel like you need to get your hands on right now because there's nothing else out there that's like it because that's definitely not true, but they're nice. And pair with the formula, I do really like them because I do really like the formula. The first color that we're going to be duping is going to be so cute, which is the lightest shade over here. Probably the closest shade that I could find that's similar in both shade and texture is Anastasia Lip Gloss and Undress. I would say Undressed is just a little bit peachier, but honestly on the lips, you cannot even tell a difference. The third swatch over here is Anastasia Butterscotch, which is another very, very close color. I would say that Butterscotch is definitely just a little bit peachier and a little bit lighter. Now we have two honorable mentions. So the first one is Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. Definitely not the same texture whatsoever. Definitely not quite as opaque, but it's still a very similar color. The last similar color that I found is Sephora Lip Gloss in Perfect Nude. This is definitely not an exact dupe whatsoever, but it was similar enough that I figured I would mention it. Again, similar to this Marc Jacobs gloss, it's a lot more sheer when you compare it, but it's a very similar tone. I would say it's just, again, a little bit peachier. So next we're gonna be duping Literally, which is right over here. Right underneath that is the NYX Extreme Shine Lip Cream in skin tone. This is definitely the closest dupe that I was able to find for this shade. I would say skin tone is probably a quarter of a shade darker, but honestly, you could not tell the difference once on the lips. Another similar color, this is definitely not an exact dupe, but it is very, very similar, is this Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Honey. The Melted Honey is not really a gloss, but it does have a little bit of a shine to it, so I figured I'd mention it, and the color is very, very similar as well. Last but not least, we have Like, and the closest dupe that I was able to find is the Anastasia lip gloss in sepia. I would say sepia is just a little bit warmer and maybe a tad darker, but they are very, very, very similar, especially on the lips. Another color that I found that is very similar to Like is Cocoa Bean from Gerard Cosmetics, a little bit darker and a little bit warmer compared to Like. I wanted to give this one an honorable mention. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Praline, which is right over here, and Like is right over here. I sort of sheared it out just a little bit so you guys can tell, because obviously the butter glosses are definitely not quite as pigmented, but the color is very similar. I would say Praline is just a little bit warmer. Okay, so this is basically the moment you've all been waiting for. Do I think this product is hot or not? Do I think it's worth the hype? Really like the formula of these lip glosses and I do like the way they feel and I like the colors. The fact that they are so similar to the Anastasia lip glosses and very similar to the NYX Extreme lip cream and also the fact that these other lip glosses do have more product in them sort of makes me want to say that they're just not worth the hype and especially if you guys saw the dupes you can see that I do have some exact dupes for you guys so I just feel like because of those reasons, I don't know if they're worth the hype. So I would say that this is a hot product because it is a good product. It's definitely not bad whatsoever, but it's not worth the hype in my opinion just because it's difficult to get a hold of and just because you get a very, very similar product that's basically the exact same color. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried these glosses? Do you know any dupes for them? Let me know everything that you gotta say down below. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite glowy product. In today's